People ask me, what is the story of Fair Observer? Well, I have lived in uh, many countries. I grew up in India, I studied and worked in the UK, and now I'm here in the US. In each of these three countries, I have not been satisfied with the media. I felt there were two huge problems. One was the fact that I felt each country's media was ethnocentric. And by that I mean it, it was based in a city, not just the country. So the New York Times is a New York view of the world. The Times of India is a Delhi view of the world. And, and the Times is a London view of the world. The second problem has been that I have not been entirely satisfied with the analysis in mainstream media. I have found the analysis to be increasingly surface, increasingly skimming, and increasingly simplistic. And so I ask myself, how is it that the media, which has a fair bit of capital and a huge number of clever people, is not being able to satisfy the demands of a reader like me? The answer to that question led me to come up with Fair Observer. Now, to explain it further, we have to understand the kind of world we are living in. We live in a world with more and more knowledge, but ironically, that knowledge is trapped in silos. There is no system that brings together people with deep expertise, people who have deep regional and subject knowledge. There is no community, structure, or organization that makes it happen. And the answer to that is Fair Observer. Fair Observer is meant to be the intellectual network. Fair Observer creates that platform by tapping into universal human desires. People like to share what they think. People want to reach across cultures and disciplines. People want to connect to a body of like-minded people who are passionate about issues and ideas. Fair Observer brings together that community of contributors and readers who are truly international, who want to engage with the issues of our times, who want to transform the global consciousness of today. Fair Observer creates that truly global community. It has space for many narratives while at the same time ensuring rigorous editorial process, which means that readers don't get drowned out by the noise. So what Fair Observer does is provide you quality content, which is diverse, which is engaging, which is uplifting, which is inspiring, with a plurality of perspectives, what we call a 360 degree view, so that you can make sense of the world. That fundamentally is fair observer.